Hi children, Teacher Mike here, and we're going to get started with our video with our months of the year. You know them, you love them, help me sing them. Here we go. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. These are the months in the year, and there are 12 months in the year. Go ahead and tell me, what's in the center? <gasps> tell me, what is that? It's the sun, that's right. And what's this? That's right, the Earth. And the Earth goes around the sun. It orbits around the sun. And whenever the Earth goes all the way around the sun in one full uh, orbit, one full rotation around, that counts as one year. So tell me, what year is it right now? Yes, it's 2020, because people have been counting 2,020 times the Earth has gone around the sun. But it's gone around many more times than that. We've just been counting 2,020 times. All right, friends, let's sing our days of the week. So let's throw up five. <clears throat> no, let's throw up seven. There are seven days in the week you know. See if you can sing them. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's the end. Okay, yesterday was Tuesday. So that means today is Wednesday. That's right. And yesterday was number 19. So that means today is 20. Very good. And yesterday was black. So today will be purple. 20. Ooh, 20. Two digits ends in a zero. So zero means that it is an even number. We can count to it by twos. Count with me. Here we go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Wow, we counted by twos. If it ends in five or zero, we can count by fives. So we can count by fives to 20. Follow my finger, here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 20. When we count by fives, I'm just looking for a five or a zero. So let's look. Five, 10, that ends in zero. 15, it ends in five. 20 ends in zero. Five, 10, 15, 20, okay? Another one, it ends in zero. That means we can count to it by tens, right? So let's count by tens. 10, 20. I just look for digits. I just look for numbers that ended in the digit zero. Let's look at it again. 10, 20, 10, 20. We did it, awesome. 20, you can count to 20 many ways, very cool. All right, friends, we have a new word of the day today. So let me move on over to the word of the day. Oop, here we go. Our word of the day is T-I-M-E, time. All right, spell it and read it with me. T-I-M-E, time. Again, T-I-M-E, time. One more time. T-I-M-E, time. Time, time, time. Again, we have that silent E, makes no sound, and it bosses this I from an I to an I sound. T I M time. Time. Time, time, time. It is time to come up with a sentence that has the word time in it. Let me see. My favorite time of day is when I get to snuggle with my family. How many words are in my sentence? My favorite time of day is when I get to snuggle with my family. 14 words in my sentence. That's the longest one I've come up with in a while. Can you come up with a sentence that has 14 words in it or more? I know you can. You can pause the video if you'd like. And when you're ready, we're gonna do phonemic awareness. All right. <clears throat> okay, friends. We're gonna start off with those thumbs out. Thumb up if they rhyme. I'm gonna say two words, thumb up if they rhyme. Thumbs down if they do not rhyme. Okay, ready? Hammer, stammer. These two rhyme, good. Careful, dareful. These two rhyme, good. 
fastest, thinner. These don't rhyme. Pickle, trickle. These two rhyme. Tackle, tickle. These don't rhyme. Tackle ended in ackle. Tickle ended in ickle. Ackle, ickle are similar but different. All right, thumb sideways. Cradle, ladle. These two rhyme. Meanest, nicer. These don't rhyme. Crackle, tackle. These two rhyme. Precious, delicious. These two rhyme. Stopping, dropping. These two rhyme. Very good friends. All right. Next up, I'm going to clap out a word. I'm going to clap out the syllables and you get to blend it together. All right, I'll do the first one with you. Photograph. Photograph. You do these by yourself. Pre-za-dent. Good. E-V-E-1. Good. Gas-o-lean. Good. So you're gonna just speed up the syllables, basically. I'm gonna say them slow and clap, and then you blend them together. Identify. Good. Dinner time. Good. Responsible. Hey, you guys are responsible. That's awesome. You gals and guys are very responsible. Okay. In, oops, let me try again. Interesting. Good one. Grandfather. Grandmother. Good. Somebody. Very good, everybody. All right, next up, I'm going to say a word. And you get to clap it out and count how many syllables are in the word. So I'll help you do the first two. Exceptional. 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 Four, word, four syllables in this word. So remember, a syllable is a chunk of sound that has a vowel in it, okay? Okay. Excited, excited, excited. Three syllables. Your turn. Underwater. <clears throat> Good. Sunflower. Good. Hey, and just a little tidbit. Sunflower is the name of one of the lower elementary classrooms. Some of you might go to Sunflower next year. Woo, exciting. All right. Octopus. Good. Rectangle. Good. Bicycle. Good. December. <clears throat> Good. Introduce. Good. Misbehave. Misbehave. Three syllables. Very good. Oh my gosh, you guys are so good at that. And we are done with our phonemic awareness. Oh, 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 my shoulders. That's that sight, what shoulder shake at that sight, what shoulder. Sight, 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 what shoulder shake. All right, friends. I'm going to hold up some sight words. I will read them for you, and you read them after me. Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. All right, here we go. Wood. Good. Make. Good. Hey, that was our word of the day two days ago. Cool. Like. Hey, that's our word of the day yesterday. Oh, my gosh. Some. Good. Her. Good. All right, let's go through them one more time. Here we go. Wood. Good. Make. Good. Like. Good. Some. Good job. Her. Nicely done, friends. All right. After our sight words, I have a joke for you. And this joke is courtesy of our friend Sophia. She wrote a joke in her writer's workshop on Monday, and she shared it with me. So I'm going to read it to you. So Sophia made up this joke. Okay, here we go. Would you... What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me try it again. What would you give a horse 
for its birthday. I don't know what. A grass cake. <laughs> That's a good one, Sophia. I'm going to read it one more time. What would you give a horse for his birthday? I don't know what. A grass cake. <laughs> the grass cake was the punchline. Very good, Sophia. Thank you so much, my friend, for sharing that with us. It made me laugh. I hope it made our friends laugh, too. So you can tell that joke to your families and friends. Okay, friends. Uh, we have started learning about Australia. I hope you got a chance to see my video about Australia. If not, you can ask your family. They'll show it to you. It's on our Google Classroom. So Australia is one of our continents. And sometimes it's called Australasia. Australia, Australasia. They're both the same thing. They're the same continent. It just depends. Different people around the world have different names for it. I know it's a little confusing, but it's okay. Some things in life are confusing. I'm just gonna give you all that information and you're gonna suck it in and you're gonna do great. So it's a continent called Australia or Australasia. Um, and we're learning about it. And one thing that I think is super cool about Australia is Aboriginal people who have been living there for 70,000 years. So we talked about the human migration a, a long time ago in the dolphin class, but I want to give you a very brief summary. So all of humans came from Africa. Everyone was in Africa. And then they started to spread out. They spread out up into Europe and then over into Asia and then down into Australia. And then some other people went up into North America and then down into South America. And then that's how people got all over the whole world. So the people who went down to Australia, they got there and then no one else went to Australia for like 70,000 years. So the people who had been living in Australia got to develop a very unique and distinct culture because no one else was coming and showing them things. So they got to make their own culture and it got to thrive and do awesome things um, without being interrupted by other people. So they have a very distinct and unique culture. And one of the cool things that Aboriginals invented was this Aboriginal dot art. So they use paint and they use a paintbrush and paint and they just do make little dots and they can make patterns with it and sometimes they make animals out of it. Um, it's super cool. And I wanted to show you how you can do some Aboriginal dot art. Um, we're just gonna do some circles and it's really cool. I'm gonna use markers. You can use a marker. If you have different sizes of markers, it's really cool because sometimes you should use them. Sometimes you can make big dots, sometimes you can make smaller dots. Um, or you can use color pencils and just make dots with the color pencils. I'm going to use markers. Let me show you how to do it. Okay. Give me one second. Move my camera. So here's my paper. It's all blank. And I'm going to use three colors. These are earth tone colors. So these, this is what I want to use today. Um, and I'm just going to show you how to do a little circle pattern that you can make with these, OK? I think it looks really neat. So I'm going to start with just a, a dot right in the middle, right here. And then. I'm going to use this color and do a circle of dots around it. Good. And I'm going to change colors and do a circle of dots around that. Now you see how we're making this circle now. I'm going to change it up again. I'm going to do just dots this time.
right, there we go. So I've made this circle just out of dots. You see that? And I can keep making it get bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm going to do one more with each color. This is sort of like when we did Zentangles, how we have a pattern going and we want to go slow and enjoy it, OK? So when you're doing these, go slow. Focus. This is a great activity to do to focus on. When we focus, we give all of our attention, our eyes and our ears to one thing. And when we go slow, we can focus more. There we go. So I made this circle. Now I'm going to make a new circle. But it's going to look like it goes underneath this original circle, OK? So I'm going to start right here. I'm doing the same thing, making dots around my other dots. to bump into this other one so watch what I do when I get to the other one I stop I'm not gonna make dots there And it gives it a sense of depth because it looks like this new circle I'm making is underneath the first circle I made. That's called depth. Okay, so you see that? Let me hold it up a little bit closer. You see how it looks like this circle is behind this circle? Because I stopped. It looks like these dots would go underneath these dots. So that gives a little bit of depth, okay? So I'm going to stop there. That's just a little sample. I am just made these two circles. I'm going to move my camera. When you do this activity, why don't you try to make three circles, okay? and just see how you can play with the depth and so that you make the depth from making a first circle and then do a new one and don't put dots on top of the first circle and it looks like the second circle is behind it then do a third one and make it look like that third circle is behind the other two okay i hope you enjoy that activity children and i hope you have a wonderful day bye bye